In this part, I will solve two problems and both the problems are taken from GATE 2002 exam. In the first problem, there are four inputs X3, X2, X1, X0. These are the four inputs given to the ROM. You can see in this figure, the input is 8421 BCD number and we have to find out outputs Y3, Y2, Y1, Y0. You can see in this figure, there are four inputs given to the BCD to decimal decoder. D0 to D9 are the 10 outputs of this decoder and we have to calculate Y3 to Y0 they are the outputs X3 to X0 are the inputs and we have to deal with BCD number and we already know in case of BCD number we have 10 possible combinations because it is binary coded decimal and decimal numbers are from 0 to 9 so we have 10 possible combinations I will make the table quickly the four inputs the four inputs to this table are x3 x2 x1 x0 the outputs are y3 y2 y1 and y0 i will quickly write down all the possible combinations then we will find out the outputs in the first case when all the four inputs are equal to 0 d0 will be the output of the decoder and you can see D0 is not connected to any of the outputs so Y3 is equal to 0, Y2 is equal to 0, Y1 is equal to 0 and Y0 is also equal to 0 all the four outputs are equal to 0 in the second case X3, X2, X1 are 0 but X0 is equal to 1 and D1 is the output of the decoder for this case and you can see D1 is connected to Y0 so Y0 is equal to 1 and all the other three inputs are equal to 0. For the third case, X1 is equal to 1 and all the other three inputs are equal to 0. So D2, D2 will be the output of the decoder and you can see D2 is connected to Y1. So Y1 is equal to 1. For the fourth case, for the fourth case when X1 and X0 are equal to 1, X3 and X2 are equal to 0, D3 will be the output and D3 is connected to Y1 and Y0 so we have 0 0 1 1 for the fourth case D4 will be the output and D4 is connected to Y2 so Y2 is equal to 1 for the fifth case for the fifth case D5 will be the output D5 will be the output and D5 is connected to Y2 Y0 so we have Y2 equal to 1 and Y0 equal to 1 for the sixth case D6 will be the output D6 will be the output and it is connected to Y3 and Y2 it is connected to Y3 and Y2 so Y3 is equal to 1 Y2 is equal to 1 and other two outputs are equal to 0 for the seventh case X2, X1, X0 are equal to 1 and X3 is equal to 0 when this happens when this happens D7 is the output of the decoder and D7 is connected to Y3 it is connected to Y2 and it is connected to Y0 so Y3, Y2, Y0 Y3, Y2 and Y0 are equal to 1 and Y1 is equal to 0 in the same way for the last two cases D8 and D9 are the outputs when D8 is the output when D8 is the output you can see Y3 is connected to D8 Y2 is connected to D8 and Y1 is connected to D8 so output is equal to 1 1 1 0 and when output is D9 there is connection with all the four outputs so 1 1 1 1 is the value of the four outputs so we have 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 1 this is the complete table and we have to choose the correct option out of these four options I will choose one case to obtain the correct option when BCD number is 0110 when BCD number is 0110 let's try to find out the gray code the gray code is simply 0 we write the first bit as it is the second bit is 0 XOR 1 0 XOR 1 is equal to 1 then we have 1 XOR 1 1 XOR 1 is equal to 0 and the final bit is 1 XOR 0 which is equal to 1 so the equivalent gray code is equal to 0101 for 0110 and the option A is not the correct option because we have 1100 as the output now we will find out 2421 BCD code 
for 0110 2421 bcd code for 0110 is 1100 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and here we have 4 plus 2 equal to 6 so this is 2421 code and option B is the correct option you can also calculate the access 3 code this is 6 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 but here we have 12 12 is not the access 3 code of 6 so option C is also the incorrect option option B is the correct option for the first problem now I will solve the second problem the second problem is also taken from the gate 2002 exam in this problem the inputs to a digital circuit is shown in the figure A B and C are the three inputs A complement B complement and C complement are not available the plus 5 volt power supply or logic 1 and the ground or logic 0 are also available you can see plus 5 volt and the ground are available in this circuit the output of the circuit X is equal to A complement and B or A complement and B complement and C complement in the A part we have to write down the output function in its canonical SOP and canonical POS forms and in the B part we have to implement it using only two 2 is to 1 multiplexers I will not solve the A part this is homework problem for you once you have the canonical SOP and canonical POS forms post them in the comment section I will move to the solution of B part in which we have to implement the function we have to implement this function using two 2 is to 1 multiplexers so let's see how we can implement it the function is x and it is equal to a complement and b or a complement and b complement and c complement a complement is common in the two product terms so I will take a complement common inside the bracket we have b or b complement c complement I will use the distributive law so we have b or b complement and b or c complement b or b complement is equal to 1 so we have a complement and b or c complement the first multiplexer the first multiplexer I will use to implement b or c complement I will use max 1 to implement this and the second multiplexer the second multiplexer will be used to implement a complement and B or C complement so let's first implement B or C complement let's say Y1 is equal to B or C complement I will paste I will paste the multiplexer this is 2 is to 1 multiplexer in which Y1 is the output S is the select line D0 and D1 are the two inputs we have to implement B or C complement this will the output of this max let's see how to implement it for this I will make the truth table for the output y1 B and C are the two inputs output is equal to y1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 when C is equal to 0 when C is equal to 0 the output y1 is equal to 1 because we have B or 1 in that case and it is equal to 1 so output y1 is equal to 1 when C is equal to 0 when C is equal to 1 this means B or 0 so Y1 is equal to B Y1 is equal to B and let's say S is equal to C S the selector variable is equal to C so when C is equal to 0 we have output Y1 equal to 1 and D0 will be connected to the output y1 this is y1 so d0 is equal to 1 and when c is equal to 1 the output y1 is equal to b so d1 is equal to b because when c is equal to 1 d1 is connected to the output so this is how we have to implement b or c complement using 2 is to 1 mux now we will implement a complement and b or c complement for this i will use another 2 is to 1 mux another 2 is to 1 mux in this max the selector variable is equal to a s is equal to a and when a is equal to 0 when a is equal to 0 the output x the output x is equal to b or c complement here when a is equal to 0 we have 1 and 
B or C complement and when A is equal to 1 the output X is equal to 0 because A complement is equal to 0 when A is equal to 1 so D0 will be connected to Y1 because Y1 is equal to B or C complement when A is equal to 1 input D1 is linked to the output output is equal to X in this case and from here we can see when A is equal to 1 X is equal to 0 this means D1 is equal to 0 so here we have 0 as the input so this is how we have to implement the output X using 2 2 is to 1 marks I think this is clear to you because we have already solved few examples based on implementation of logic function using multiplexers and also we are dealing with 2 is to 1 marks so this is relatively easier to implement I will end this lecture here if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section